Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about date functions in SQL. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. If you want to display the current date, we have a function called SYS date, which is nothing but system date. So it will give you the current date or today's date. What is today's date? 11th August 2022. So that will be the output it will display if you write it in Oracle SQL Plus. I will write select SYS date from dual. Already I have discussed what is this dual. It is a a dummy table or temporary table. If I press enter, then it will display the current date as 11th August 2022. For the current date, if you want to add the days, then also you can do. I will write select SYS date. I want to add 10 days for the current date. What is today's date? 11th August 2022. If you add 10 days, it will be 21st August 2022. Similarly, if you want to subtract the number of days, then also you can do. What is the current date? 11th August 22. If you subtract 10 days, then it will be 1st August 2022. So this is the use of SYS date. It will be displaying the current date, month and year. Now, if you want to add the hours, that also we can do. I can write select SYS date. I will write plus. I want to add 10 hours out of 24 hours to the current date. What is the time right now? It is 8.33 p.m. If you add 10 hours, then it will be 6.35. 3 a.m. of the next day. Next day means what? As today's date is 11th August 2022. Next day or tomorrow is what? 12th August 2022. If you want to add one hour for the current date, then the date will not be changing. Why is right now it is 11th August 2022, 8.34 p.m. Then if you add one hour, it will be 9.34 p.m. of 11th August only. So it will give the output as 11th August 2022. Sir, we have added the hours. Can we do the subtraction of the hours? We will verify. Select SYS date. I will write minus 24 by 24. So I am subtracting 24 hours from the 24 hours. Earlier what we said we have added one hour out of 24 hours. Similarly, 10 hours has been added for the current date. Now, the right now the time is 11th August 2022, 8.35 p.m. Now, if you subtract 24 hours, then it will be 10th August 2022, 8.34 p.m. Now, you can see the date is 10th August 2022. Now, if we want to convert a string into a date, we have a method called to underscore date. What it will do is that it is useful for you to current the string or convert the string into a date. If I say 11 AUG 22, then it will convert into the date because anything if you are providing in the single quotes, it will be considered as a string that one you are converting into a date. Now let me discuss this one practically in SQL plus. Okay, I will write select to underscore date. What is the date I will provide? I will provide it as 11 Jan 22. I will perform the subtraction again to underscore date or let me provide the SYS date current date from the 11th Jan 2022 I am subtracting the current date then what will be the output is it will give you the number of days between the 11th Jan 2022 to 11th August 2022 it will give the days in negative number why because the 11 Jan 22 to system date, current date is your minus because this is smaller as compared to the current date because current date is 11th August 22 but 
you are subtracting that one from 11 jan 22 so that's why you are getting minus 2 1 2 8 5 9 0 9 like this you are getting the output suppose if i do the reverse sys date minus or oh no yeah sys date minus 2 underscore date i will provide 11 jan 22 from dual now the same thing it will give in a positive number plus two one two point eight five nine six one eight so two one two days is the difference between the two days date to 11 jan 22 now sir we have got the number of days if i want to find the number of months between the two days means i am providing a date one date two between these two dates i want to find the months between them then we have a function called months underscore between what it will take is that it will take two dates let me provide date one comma date two between the, these two dates it will subtract and find the months between them if you want to verify let me write like this months underscore between i will write 11th august 2022 and i will write 11th uh, Jan okay 11th August I should write it as a u z right so I will write a u z that is the format date in double digit and month in first three characters of the month if it is Jan you need to provide J A N if it is February you need to provide F A B if it is August A U G like that Jan I want to write Jan 22 then how many months are there between the August to Jan seven months is there so that will be the output if you want to verify you can write select months underscore between and I want to provide two dates 11 August AUZ 22 and comma 11 Jan JAN 22 from dual. Now you can see seven months are there between the 11th August 22 to 11th Jan 22. The number of days are not same here you are saying 11th August 11th Jan so that's why we got the uh, months in integer if i give the months different and also the dates are also different then what will happen you can see then in that case it will give the output as decimal numbers or like i can say real number with uh, look at here 11th august 2022 comma instead of first jan 11th jan i will write 5th jan so 05 jan 22 from dual then if i end with semicolon now you can see what happened months underscore between from dual unknown command oh we have written as s e l e r okay let me edit it we need to write select right we have written select only then what happened select months underscore between 11th august 22 11th jan okay we have written 11th august we will write 05 okay let me save this one let me backslash now you can see we got the 7.1935839 now i want to round it this one then i can do it select i will write round of months underscore between i will write 11 august 22 comma 5th jan 22 let me close the months one and also the round off from dual now you can see we got the output as seven months earlier we got 7.1935 i have done the round even we can do the truncate also i will write yes select t r u n c and then i will write months underscore between i will write 11 august 22 to 01 jan 22 from dual 
now you can see the truncate also gave the output as 7 now we will discuss another method called or another function called next underscore day what this function will do is that it will take two parameters one is the date okay let me write 26 jan 21 from this date i want to find when the next monday will come okay i will write monday when the next monday what is the date of the next monday from the date called 26 jan 21 that it will give the output if you want to verify you can verify let me write select next underscore day i will write 11 august as auz 22 comma i want to find as today's date is uh, day is thursday i want to find when will be the next thursday when will be the next thursday obviously it will be 18th august 22 we will verify from dual see we got 18th august 22 if you want to find the friday okay then you can see 11th august 22 when will be the next monday you know that the monday coming monday is 15th august 22 you can see we got the output as 15th august 22 similarly we have another function called add underscore months it will take two parameters one is the date any date you can provide let me provide as 11 august 22 if i add let's take the 10 months for this august if you add 10 months what will be the output guess it it is august if you add four hour four months it will be december then another six months it will be july or june oh, sorry june i think okay now you can see so for the current month august 10 months will be added so let me write it select add underscore months function it will take two parameters one is the date let me provide as 11 august 22 and i want to add 10 months to the august then you can see 11 june 23 similarly if you want to use the round with respect to the month that also we can do i will write select the round and if i want to know the current date i will use sys date i want to round off to the month 11th august 2022 so which is less than 15 so it will be round off to 01 august 22 suppose if i say select round if I write two underscore date, I will provide the date as, uh, let's take the 25th August 22 and then I will round off to the month. Then you can see what will happen from dual. Now you can see we got the first September 22. So if it is less than 15, then it will give the August if it is greater than 15 the date as 25 is greater than 15 so we got the next month in place of this round if I use the trunk then can you guess the output okay you can see a yes, tree are you and see let me save let me end the backslash now you can see truncate what it will do whether your date is less than 15 or greater than or equal to 15 it does not worry it will give the first august 22 if you want to verify now i will give some 0 to august 22 and you are rounding off to the month then also it will give first august 22 if you want to round off to the year then you can see as how many months are completed in this year august so it is near to 2023 so you can see round of sys date of year with regarding year you are rounding off from dual then it should give the output as 1 january 23 if you provide trunk here then you can see sys date and i'm rounding to year then you can you guess what will be the output first january 2022 
okay in place of trunsys like this you can if you want to display a particular attribute name then you can use the aliasing here i will write as year let me save it close it backslash now you can see the attribute name has been changed to year and the output we got it as 1st january 2022 I hope you have understood this aliasing concept and round and trunk. If you still have any doubts related to the concepts, whatever I have discussed in this video, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.